Today I will show you a little hack that you can do with Blackmagic Cloud that I just figured out. If you only use it one day, you don't even have to pay for that. Huh? 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 What do I mean? So in my last video, I showed you everything about Blackmagic Cloud, how you can use it, when you can use it, how to set it up, how the payment works and everything. But when I now stop my plan, I figured out something very cool. So let's jump into my Blackmagic account. So this is my Blackmagic account. I have one library that I pay at the moment five bucks. But because I set it up today, just for the purpose of making the video I'm honest but I didn't want to have it anymore because I'm using everything on my hard drive so I wanted to disable it I didn't want it next month the payment comes through again so I was totally fine just paying once but here's something very cool if you go into your library you can now say project library enabled and if I click here and I disable it this is the moment when you will disable your library and then also all your projects they are locked so you cannot access the project anymore. So before you do that, you should take all your projects and copy them because it's very simple. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, you can just easily select the projects that you want. You hit copy or export the project and then you have your project file saved. So do this before you do what I'm showing you now. If we go back to the account and we say, okay, disable the project. This pop-up will come up, disable project library. Your project library will be disabled immediately. Any remaining credit will be added to your account credit balance. Project libraries can be re-enabled at any time. So now we say, okay, disable it. The following happens. This project library, now it will work. It will disable it. Project library is current disabled. So if we look now into our project library, all current project libraries are disabled. At any time I can come in here and enable this one. If I enable it, it will ask me for the five bucks again. So I didn't want it to do this. But now I show you the cool thing. If I go to my settings and I look into my billing cycle, I see now that I have a credit balance of five euro 94 because the tax is on top of the five euros. And what actually happened, because it's the same day and I already worked with someone, we sent over the files and everything, I get the full amount back, the credit balance. And you can now even see here, I did this the first time, this was still today, I bought it, <laughs> I disabled my library. So I got this amount back. <laughs> and now just for the purpose of this video, I re-enable it, so I had to pay the 5 euro 95 again. And now, while on camera, I disabled it. So what is the hack? Mine is not really a hack. You can also just copy your project and the files to Dropbox and send it to someone. But you could technically create a cloud, which the account is for free, but you can create a library, share your files with someone else, invite him, so he, he can download everything directly from Blackmagic account and then disable it and only use or even let's say, for example, this is, the, this is the good part, it's not the hack. Let's say you work with someone in Australia and you guys work for three days and then your project is done. You can disable the library and the remaining credit will come back to your account. And the next time when you work on a library, a library you don't have to pay the full amount. So you don't have to like, you can save the credit and just work as many days as you want on the project and then turn it off. That makes it even cheaper for collaborative work. Maybe it's interesting for you. So this is the hack that I found. See you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye. Oh yeah, and if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong. There will be more videos about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad on this channel. Bye.